a very good crisp sunny but very very cold morning it's monday the 16th of october we've met up with steve um, we didn't film it we came up through two locks from red bull the other day in the pouring rain that's why we didn't film it but today we've got hair castle there's one lock between us and the tunnel um, you can see nikki there steve is in front and we're going to get going through one lock and then hair castle It is very cold this morning. Nikki's gone up ahead to set the locks for Steve and I. We're taking the boats up. Yeah, I've done Hair Castle before, but never from uh, this portal. So it'll be interesting to, to go through and Nikki's never done it. So uh, we've got the lights ready, the chimney's off. Uh, I'm having another cup of coffee and then we'll, uh, we'll get through this lock and then to the tunnel landing. There, just to the right hand side, you can see the entrance to the Macclesfield Canal, which we did earlier this year. Beautiful canal. So here we are waiting at Hare Castle Tunnel, obviously taking us under Hare Castle Hill. We've been told it'll be about 45 minutes, so I presume they're letting one or two boats through from the other side first, but no problem, we've got all day. Well, it's nearly our time to go through. Two have come through, that's one of them, but we're still waiting for one more, and then it's our turn. We're eagerly waiting to go through now. I think it's a GRP cruiser coming through next. It's petrol, so they have to leave a good gap. Uh, but then it's our turn through. Just to the other side there of the Harecastle Tunnel, you may be able to see what remains of Brindley's Tunnel. That opened in 1777, but due to landslides, it closed in 1914, just before uh, the outbreak of World War I. Yeah, they actually ran simultaneously these tunnels. One would carry the traffic north and one would carry the traffic south. There goes Steve. Our turn next. We've got all the lights on. Ready to go. Thanks very much mate. Have a good day.
mate. Let me get on the water truck. <laughs> That's it. All done. That's it. Hair castle done. I'm waiting uh, just in front of Steve. When Steve's done, I'm going to pull back to the water point there. Yes, another load of washing. Believe me, when you've got six dogs, you need to do some washing. So from here, we've got about a 10 minute cruise, 10, 15 minute cruise to Westport Lake and hopefully get a moor in there. So that's what we're looking for. So uh, we'll see you when we get going. Steve went on in front of us about 10 minutes earlier so he's at Westport Lakes and he's actually just messaged Nikki to say there's plenty of room so that's great news so uh, 10 minutes or so and we'll be more done. Blimey, it's cold. <laughs> We're moored up at Westport Lakes. I've never seen it so quiet. There's, there's hardly any boats here. We're moored up in front of Steve. Steve's getting his washing out and we're about to do exactly the same thing. And then get something to eat. And then get the fire lit and get the boat nice and warm. But yeah, it's nice because it's not raining. We'll see you next time. Mm.